Hey guys, it's Dr. Emmer. We're in West Hollywood and we're doing now our second part of our Titan Bright procedure, which is Fraxel. Now we're using the 1927 wavelength or what people call the Fraxel Dual, but it's called the Dual because it has two wavelengths on it, the 1927 and the 1550. This is gonna target fine wrinkles, discoloration, pores, and be preventative against skin cancer. And my patient already did our deep microneedling radio frequency with Morpheus, which is gonna get her the tightening that we would want that you don't get with lasers. So we're really completing an amazing treatment for her today. And what we can do after even is even in a week to 10 days, we could do a light peel if we really wanted or start some microneedling. But in general, she's gonna look really good just from this and the skincare. We're getting her ready for a great event. So what does Fraxel do that's different? And here's the thing, it's been out to the right. It's been out for numerous amount of years. Um, and every company has literally tried to copy this scanning or rolling intraoptical scanning mechanism that you hear right now. As we roll across the tissue, it delivers the energy evenly but it also allows it so we don't have to shoot a beam. So unless you roll over it, it is not gonna fire and hurt you at all, which is quite amazing. It can be very precise with this treatment. What's gonna happen is all the energy is delivered on the surface, and in the next couple days to a week, she is going to lightly peel, and it's gonna reveal much more um, even skin tone, which I'm gonna love. She's gonna, I'm gonna probably get rid of the majority of her pigmentation, the majority of her fine wrinkles, and then we're gonna start retinol right when all that peels and, and smoothing everything out, and it's gonna look phenomenal. So, she's gonna do great, super excited. Um, take a look up close, you can see as we roll across the tissue, there's really no beam. It's just delivering the energy. But you'll see over the next few days, all the sun damage is gonna come to the surface. Great, turn all the way left. All the sun damage is gonna come to the surface. And we're just gonna get a smoother, more baby skin tone. She's never gonna wonder what happened. <laughs> or you could just pretend and say it was skincare, that you were drinking more water, you don't have to lie. You don't have to say you went to me if you don't want. <laughs> and use it, I could be your secret cover you right here. So a little higher. Get the fine wrinkles. But we do numerous passes to really just even everything out. It's gonna look phenomenal. And the key is to be on long-term maintenance. This is something you typically would do at the beginning, once or twice kind of close together, and then every three or four months, no matter what. Even myself, does for Axel, and I don't really have any issues. Any questions over there? Mm -hmm. Remember, we're covering the full surface area. So this is the downtime consistent. So this is gonna be one week of redness, some slight peeling, there's really no downtime or restriction with this, even my best friend just did this treatment last week, or two weeks ago when I was in New York, and he sent me pictures every day, and he went to his board meetings, and everyone thought he just had a sunburn. I mean, there is some peeling involved, but it's not so bad. You know, this is something where I really don't feel like you have to restrict your whole life, but if you truly felt like you needed to, you could. Do you personally do all laser treatments? I do majority, but my PA also does laser treatments. Obviously, if you follow my Instagram, you would know my PA, Danielle, is very well trained, and she's a national trainer for a couple laser companies. But if my patients want me to do their lasers, I do. And I'm a double board certified, a double uh, fellowship trained board certified dermatologist. Is it painful? How are you doing? She's got nerve blocks. What's the overall pain you would say? Uh, none. Almost none. She's unbelievable. But most women are very strong and most men are weak. 
<laughs> so, and you know, everyone that has a husband or a wife here knows that that's always what's gonna be the case when you're married. So remember that answer. Regardless, my women do very well, my men don't do as well. <laughs> so with Fraxel. So you need to do the nerve blocks. So we did the nerve blocks for her because we did the deep Morpheus. But what's crazy and amazing about this terminal here is that you don't see anything on the surface, you guys. There's really nothing to see, even though this is only about two, 300 microns. It's right at the surface level, attracting all that sun damage. But you don't really see it. We will, though, in the next few days, which is why skincare, the PRP, and masks, turn all the way to the right, are very important. Should she expect feeling? Um, yeah, she'll get. Yeah. She will get some peeling because I'm actually doing a pretty high density on her. We're going all out. Remember, we're doing this for an event. We need her to look good. So she's going to get some peeling. She's going to get some kind of marks on the skin and stuff for about seven to ten days. And if we still feel like we need a little more, we can do a light peel in a week or two, called Enlighten, or we could just start retinol and get on the skincare. But overall, things are going to darken. A lot of sun damage is going to come up. And that's going to cause her to have some level of healing. Motivated, you're motivated. You know, we're motivated okay. together. So that's really it for the face, you guys. I'll come back in a few minutes when we do the neck, okay? Stay tuned. 